case with him before. That first car is not the president of the United States or a former one in this case. So we'll continue to watch the, the archway here in, uh, in Palm Beach. What awaits him, Emily, when he gets to New York? I know that the commissioner and the mayor of the city would lead you to believe that there is a reason for people to be on alert physically and secure. Here we go, Patriots. But, but He's getting ready to leave her. Steps legally? Right, so the arraignment is tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. And we know that he's so God bless him. Let's pray that he so makes it there safe and gets this over with. Right. He's never been checking the face of music, so. I personally expect at least some, given the tenor of this political organization. Don't worry, time. Patriots. We'll um, be all right. I know, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for everyone's comments about sort of the Please subscribe. the mayor was saying, where he adamantly said. I'll keep you up to date on more. the city imported people. You will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I wish he would have that same vehemence to rape Remember Trump 2024. Escape, not only Go down. But conviction. I wish he would say that to the very tiny group of career criminals in this town that account for 600 arrests in the last few months alone. I wish you would say that to the face of We love you, killer. Donald. Sorry for all the trouble you're going officers, through, and thank you for sticking with us. Like the one who shot Detective Dominic Liberty. We'll never leave you meant for like you never left off. There on Staten Island. The list goes on. So this political spectacle um, is frankly difficult to swallow as a New York, as a New Yorker. I live here. This is my town. And it's disturbing they tell me to take the subway when the chances are I'll probably be beaten and raped. Sorry, it's gonna, probably um, going to be a long video. Well, We're still waiting for the motorcade of Trump to leave for the airport, which is five miles away to go to, to his arraignment tomorrow. Now? And he said, he admitted, it's never been done that I know of with regard to federal election law. But I think the question is not so much, he said, why didn't I do it or we did it, but why this DA is doing it. I wish they would have done it someplace really else other than New York so we would have got a fair trial. This process isn't going to be but I'm sure his lawyers know what they're doing. About it. So as we reference the Since fact the, that the DOJ, the lawyer the FCC, hates the Trumps, prior DA Cyrus Vance and not the lawyer, and but the, himself the judge. Prosecute. We have that prior prosecutor essentially saying, yeah, I actually <clears> don't know either. So the world is waiting for not only uh, the legal... He ain't worried because he didn't do nothing wrong. This is based on, but perhaps some so he's leaving early. It's actually a bit stronger than from what we anticipate thus far. It's so flimsy because 34 counts of flimsy does not make it stronger. By the way, it's, it's said, isn't it, that, 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 that the New York Post reported last week that, uh, that Bragg may have been partly sort of pushed into this by his former associate uh, publishing this book. Donald Mark Trump Conrad. is and, you know, yeah. and saying getting in his motorcade to head to the airport, which is five minu minutes away, Do you think there's something to in the leave for the arraignment that tomorrow. That say yes, that he was stung by that. That was exactly the words that the New York Secret Post Secret Service is getting that motorcade ready with him. So let's pray for him that he gets there um, safe and everything the goes good. And tension between that He's never and been a scared man to face the music. You don't have to worry. He didn't do nothing wrong. So people have sort of contrasted I just wish that, about that tension, <coughs> local tension versus wish that the they would have had the trial someplace else you know, other than New York. I just want to let everybody know the Democrat state that New York right City now. is. This is the archway. Those are the open gates. You can see one is open from this distance. Uh, this is Mar-a-Lago, the beautiful estate of our former president, Donald Trump. And so one car has left. We had reports from our own crews on the ground. This will be a motorcade type there situation. There they go. And now we've seen the second car. Let's watch this live now. The president, uh, number 45 for the United States, is on the move. We love you, 45. God bless. International Airport. And May God be with you. Photos, I just want to remind everybody the types of decisions that have already been made ahead of him arriving. One of them was uh, the Secret Service, first of all, is in charge of anything having to do with the president. Don't be the scared, Donald. The police department here in the city will secure the us patriots are with you. Uh, other presence inside the courtroom tomorrow when he is arraigned at 2.15 p.m. Please subscribe for more now, if you haven't subscribed. Is in charge, and we'll so keep you up to date on all the latest. The kind of decision of and thank you for all the new subscribers. They had said no. They Can't build a channel without you guys. All us patriots success. need to this stick together, especially president. now. We have never seen anything like this. What we have seen, 1832, and then with Agnew uh, under Nixon. We have seen former... Donald likes the backdrop of his airplane, so that's where they're going. Agnew, uh, Try to do photos and pictures and videos and everything else of the backdrop with his airplane. Indicted. Look at all the support he's getting. He used to live in, doesn't live there. And look at the people that are lined up.
up against the freeway. Like, everybody knows the route, and this is a very, very short ride. I mean, they're not going very fast, but normally you can make this drive from his estate, I understand, to the airport in about five minutes because you're, you're going faster than the motorcade would be. But right now, this is a, a slower ride, and you're seeing people in certain areas waving to the former president. Kaylee, Again, you have the, been with him. the motorcade of Trump what going to the bath drop sort of, of his airplane to go right to now, the, the New York City for yeah, his indictment. Or a legend, but legend what I can indictment. Do is, um, you know, I have been on many of those rides. God bless him. Uh, we love you, Trump. Sorry for going through all you are. Today on social media. Trump and your family. God speeds to you all. Very encouraging, and I'm sure even now, you know. But what is so remarkable to me about this moment is, you know, not only is this a politically motivated prosecution, in the words of Jeb Bush and Barr, God and all the watch over you, Donald. And the notion. Senator I Manchin. do not trust the Democrats. Some who are writing on the pages Sorry. of the New York Times. Um, you know, not only that, but the fact that the, the justice system is being weaponized. And you and your family. About a gag order, which Emily mentioned those remarks this evening at Mar-a-Lago. A gag order, as Jonathan Turley pointed out, maybe you have some thoughts, Emily, it would be p perhaps unconstitutional in this case. So think about... Not only are you politically Sorry for the long video, but I want to get it all to you. But now this individual, a Donald, Donald Trump's motorcade to the airport, country, five minutes away from and his the estate. Again, similar to the statute we talked about earlier in the Criminal Code of New York that deals with grand jury proceedings being leaked, it has a stiffer penalty. Donald with the Secret Service here, the going to the airport to fly to New York for the indictment tomorrow. President Trump. So I'll let the irony speak for itself. Um, yes, there is absolutely First Amendment and, and constitutional. You can see all the support you're getting from people in Florida. The thing is, is gag orders are frankly mostly and often used in times of. Sometimes he stops for photos and interviews. Calls for violence, um, really sort of high risk cases. And I note that much of President. They stop for some reason, so. Which are only to protest this and to. Maybe it's for an interview. Who knows? Been declared and described as incitement declared and described as racist and intimidating. And so I wonder, Kaylee, in terms of the political nature that we've seen um, in this entire thing from the beginning, if Sorry for the long video, people. Will be weaponized Watch to the end. Maybe exactly. you'll see something you didn't hear on the other channels, especially the Wolf again, channels. Which is frankly, sort of rare, especially in these kind of cases. All right, so we continue to see the former president making his way from his home there at Mar-a-Lago onto the Palm Beach International Airport, where his jet is waiting on the tarmac there um, this is again a pretty short ride they seem to have sped up a little bit so we are going to see him on the right of your screen now is the plane where we're going where they're going um you know jerry in a, the big scope of things is he comes back to new york city um you know that that's what the prosecutor wanted he wanted the visual of donald trump coming back to his home turf um, competing yeah, but he ain't worried about it because he's going early. Many, many times over with people who liked him, who hated him, or whatever, he's coming back to all of that will be a backdrop. And the scheme setter that was, was kind of laid for us today by the police commissioner and the New York City mayor, though, wasn't about that. It was about what happens when he comes back. And Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, should we, you know, secure the area in Lower Manhattan? Where Godspeed with you, Donald. Ahead of Good luck. Incite the fear in me. Like you were saying it before we came to air, how this is like putting spice in the stew by Democrats. Yeah. I mean, I would just say that, look, people have consistently Wait. underestimated. Can you hear that? Yeah. Can you see all the support he's getting? Yeah. Let's go ahead. And right outside our, our offices here on 6th Avenue. But I would say that people have consistently underestimated uh, Donald Trump. You know, he has faced very serious criticism for over 30 years as a business person even in the pages of the new york post i mean he has been vilified for years and this is not a man who takes that sitting down he's a man who jumps up and starts fighting so if you think for one Sorry second for moving, this is going to be hands a white tired. donald trump who's who's not going to have anything to say well think again I'm trying to give but you all the all the video to you but i can not only that that hold my hand so long presidents who come after yeah. this you yeah. know your hand goes numb so why I got you, please subscribe. Again, the motorcade with the Secret Service of Donald Trump to his plane.
to go to New York for his arraignment. He usually stops for interviews. And I'm sure he will. But look at all of the support he's getting from Floridians. Hopefully, if all goes well, we'll have some some special news to tell you guys. Stay tuned for more with special news with Donald Trump. That's in the works with us. Donald Trump went into politics for his own reasons. Again, we can't make the decision for him, but maybe some some breaking news with Donald Trump with us. You know, if, if you see this situation where if you it's in the you works. run in American politics, let's be frank, if you don't have any base... And the only way you're going to know what it is, if you stay tuned and subscribe, hit that bell. When I upload, I always do it, total career and family do it as a, if you tread on the wrong, a if premiere you tread video. On the wrong people's toes. That they wouldn't just sort of criticize you, it's not just normal political criticism... Donald Trump and then motorcade ride to the airport and so he's going to get on his airplane and head to New York City for tomorrow's arraignment. He's leaving early. I seriously doubt he has anything to worry about. And he knows it. God bless him and his family. And thank you for sticking with us, Mr. Trump. The best president we ever had or ever will have. Besides Abraham Lincoln and Ronald Reagan, of course. I am guarantee if you look at the rest of them, they've all been Democrats. So we have been getting screwed all the while behind our backs. Can't confirm that, but look it up. Maybe you can. I would allow comments, like I've told you in previous videos, but YouTube decided to turn off my my comments because they don't want us patriots sticking together. Slow down for pictures and wave and give them thumbs, thumbs up. Even when he went to his, uh, his swearing in, he wasn't afraid. He got out and walked. The Secret Service told him not to, but he said, I'm not afraid of I'm going to walk, show the people I'm not afraid. And don't forget, people, Donald Trump has worked for us for free, never taken a single dime for his presidency has Biden he agreed and he would do this regularly sign letters send them to these victims these kids because he cared about the victims of crime and you contrast the former president and his attention to crime at the local level and those name any other president that's gone through this bullshit prosecuting a former president for political motives or BS I should say sorry the victims of crime in his city it just really is an interesting and that's why I stick with this man. If he's willing to fight for us, I know I picked the right person. This is a district attorney who campaigned on taking down a figure, a political figure, on the basis of essentially political vengeance. He's not in bed with China either. And he doesn't make fun of people that died like Biden does. Look at when they had the, the Nashville shooting. The comments he made. But of course, it's an open channel. You can have your own, own mind. We're not going to take away your civil liberties. You pick who you want to pick. And I deserve mine too. And mine's right here. 
This is not a moment to celebrate, regardless of your party. 74 million people camping wrong. Sobering moment, especially when you look at it through the lens of the fact that this is a political decision by a local district attorney well, toward well, a two, former sitting president. Two things tell me that they're getting close to the airport. One, did you just see that very large group of people that were right there as the yes. president's motorcade uh, slowed down from the president, Donald Trump, now getting close to Palm Beach International Airport? We did have a shot momentarily, and the audience couldn't see this. It was a little bit shaky, but I'm looking at different remote satellite images coming in. We did see the stairs now have come down, and you've got people at the base of those stairs on Trump Force One that are anticipating getting close to the airport. So now. Donald Trump so can get on a plane and go to New York City early. So off schedule, they'll take off pretty quickly. If in fact he doesn't end up speaking, oh, there it is. Now we've got the two shot. That that shot's a little steadier. Uh, Jerry, thank you for letting me get that in because I knew you wanted to have some complete thoughts. But I wanted people to know just yeah. how close we are. Uh, and we're and we're watching to see if Trump will say anything again. All God bless you, Donald. You've seen some people lying. God speed be with you. Red hats. So Kaylee, God, God please look after him and his family in New York. This is his home state, Jerry. This is his home state, and I have to say, this event is making everybody insane, particularly in the media. The media is has lost their marbles over this. And let me give you just one example. The Dems Alvin have lost Bragg, their marbles, too, and some here, businesses. Takes a lot of money from George Soros. People have been pointing that out. I that seen on YouTube the other day. Budweiser now out, is, have, exactly. has a trans woman on their, their new logo and bear Biden can. At what point I think it's Bud Light. To mention George Soros Not to mention Hershey. With or should we say she, she, he. So and Ben and Jerry's and the Amazon, Coca-Cola, so many of them. You know, the, um, when I watch this, I'm reminded of that old thing. That Besides all the news they're channels. A, a, a very old story against they're all worried that he's going to win again. And, I'm reminded of and I know he will. That somebody who's willing to 74 million patriots uh, to stick together. Uh, may well find that they've just picked up a boomerang. Mm. This could so easily boomerang again. God bless you, 45. Well, and you don't have a statute of limitations. It's going to be 47. Biden stuff. Uh, you're dealing with national security, mm. sen very sensitive issues there, yeah. away from all the classified documents, because as we found out, many people had them. But it was those four or six Getting closer to the air airport, Miami, so he can take off in his jet to go to the arraignment for tomorrow's name. New York City. Um, it was those four top secret documents having to do particularly with Russia and China and Ukraine. And yep, That's they're at the airport. The essence of. And so will those ever be declassified? We don't know. Um, but we do know that that's evidence of some something that they wanted to look at. And then, of course, all the suspicious activity reports, who was talking to China and different countries, uh, just because they had the last... Donald likes the backdrop of his airport, president. his airplane, uh, and I don't blame him. If I own a plane, I would too. At the transportation that will take him from Palm Beach International Airport to New York City. The arraignment is set for 2.15 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, he'll go into criminal court to face these charges, which Emily was just telling us uh, amount to about $280,000 in, you know, what in alleged funds. In alleged funds. funds. Yeah. And, but we've already seen There's a man of the hour the getting on his plane. We, aren't, we haven't seen the indictment, so we don't know all that's in it. But it, at least some of it, if it's touching on, on what you're talking about, um, let's, let's watch for a second as Trump boards the plane. I don't want to be talking through that. It's kind of hard to, to see exactly. Yeah, so he has boarded the plane. Looks to be alone. Hmm. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's got Secret Service with him. Um, this is a big moment for the United States. This is a moment where conceivably many in the country will see the politicization of this plain and clear. Some of them are Republicans, some of them are... Hopefully somebody some pays, some pays for his expenses at all. I mean, this. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia said it. Be careful with this. This is all coming out of the this man's is, pocket, remember. This is something that you better... And if you sure haven't been paying attention, and there you see the rest he of the raised $5 million dollars in president. one day. We do first campaign, morning, so we still love by all. I was looking to see if there were any family members who might come. I haven't seen any of them, Kaylee. 
And DeSantis has been sticking with them. Said that they would not extradite. He didn't have to, because Donald said, I'll go. Face music and prove my innocence. Unclear to me if there are any on this trip. I wouldn't think so. Um, typically brings them more to the rally situations. Um, but interesting to watch this. And you just have to ask Sorry the video is so long, I people. That Jeb Bush comparison was so but I know you're interested in seeing this from voters. Trump. Um, because that's so problematic. Wow. If a, not just a jury, but a Manhattan jury. Which God bless no 45. Today, um, this city we're sitting in swings politically. Get um, this behind you. You could be 47. Um, let the voters decide. Mm -hmm. That's ultimately what it should be in franchising and letting the voters have their say on the future of President Trump. Uh, and, and we can confirm that was former President Trump who was the first aboard the plane. This is difficult to see, uh, but we at least wanted to, to bring you into the moments of his day. The history that's being made on this particular day, as we've talked about, comes with a lot of asterisks and warning signs. Um, be careful when you play with with politics because sorry for moving my hands getting sore and again they don't just squash more than reputations they can damage i don't have a stand to hold a camera so that a i'm just a small channel start now so we must show so much deference before with your guys help i can get bigger people. we must have our evidence so together. subscribe please uh, alvin bragg is reaching and i don't know how much of his come up he's on right now but he better get his back straight. There's 74 million of you, and I want you all on my channel, all Patriots. coming back into his territory where people don't like him. So he has a lot of friends here. He's got a lot of people who try to defend him. He's got a and lot of upstaters house led by in Long Island. Right now that are going to be looking closely at Alvin Bragg and others for any weaponization of office. At least 100 upstate. Jim Jordan, the chairman of all the Long Jordan, Island. Told me last the week, city there is no help for they, they want bring in Alvin Bragg in They're all Democrats down there. To talk with him and see all but upstate, communications we love the them. federal government and the district attorney's office in Manhattan. They want to know what's in those documents to see if there were any mentions like what we saw with some of the people at the FBI. That there might have been some political sway. Sorry for moving again. Targeting for this president. What I, I, I thought it was so helpful for Emily to lay out Secret Service is heading out now, so any now, any time now, the plane will be airborne. Now, Alvin Bragg has scooped up five more years for himself, so that's why we really don't know what's in the indictment until it's unsealed. That's right. That'll and happen tomorrow, by the way. That's right, 2.15 p.m. ET, and a reminder for viewers that Justice Merchant, Justice Juan Merchant of the New York State Supreme Court, you know, he was the judge that was overseeing the case and trial of the Trump Organization and its former CFO, Alan Weisselberg, and He's also the Got a pretty big motorcade. We build the wall case. In addition to him now presiding over this case, now that an indictment has been handed up. And reminder, in January, he sentenced Weisselberg to five months in prison, who he's currently serving. He ordered the Trump or companies to pay a maximum fine under the New York state law of a total of one. I'm going to try and wait until so the, air, the airplane takes off. Sorry, the video is so long. Arriving here to New York state and city, in addition to the district at attorney, at least you get it all. Bragg, as you've eloquently stated, um, what what he comes to the table with his campaign promise of suing President Trump. Even though it's killing my arm. And what he will do if assumed. Hopefully, office, I'm not doing this for nothing. And you subscribe and hit that bell. An office which is successfully prosecute so many career criminals. How about the channel patriots? City that make it such a dangerous place for regular folks like me and for law enforcement here. Um, it is the Secret really Service is lining up waiting, waiting for something. To me again, just saying this as a now New Yorker who lives here. That feels so unsafe on my streets, but the statistics reflect 300% increase in ambushes against law enforcement, 22% increase in violent crimes here on the city. In this city, the streets of New York, Sorry, right again. Here we see a former president being indicted for a misdemeanor elevated to a felony on you the try hold your hand attorney, up for 20 minutes. Let's see if you can do it. Of the felonies here in the city to misdemeanors and has reduced violent crimes to reclassification of nonviolent crimes. It's sickening to see, as Douglas says, we have yet to learn what will play out. We have yet to learn the contents of the indictment and the, the stairs are away. 30, 34 charges. So any minute now, the so plane will be taken off. Away from Trump Force One. They are getting ready for a scheduled departure was about 20 minutes ago. So they are really within a pretty tight window 
of when they said that they would be leaving. Douglas, I'm curious. I always want to know because it seems like China plays the role right now of someone with a gun and a knife to our head. Hmm. Um, what do our enemies see when they see this? Well, it's very interesting. Um, I was uh, in D.C. last They're week. They're probably laughing. Vice President but they'll be crying soon. Just, just after the announcement that he made of the indictment of uh, former President Trump. And as he said, you know, this, this, this gives us an amazing signal to our competitors and enemies around the world. Uh, you know, the, the, the Chinese and the Russians in particular say, you know, the whole system of democracy in America, it doesn't work. It's unstable. It doesn't give people the security they need. And that's why the Communist Party of China's version of things is right. You know, it's one of the things they constantly trot out. Okay, that's frightening. It's very frightening. <laughs> they think that they can sell what oh they Oh, my God, have. sorry, they people. My fingers are going numb from holding it. There's a point to be made here. The entire country is focused on these pictures right yeah. now. When we could be if I get some subscribers, like I can buy border, equipment. Well, this like is... an open border, like inflation, yeah. like crime. We could be doing other things rather well, than... Thank you to those who already so have subscribed. They say that they can walk and chew gum at the Must be time. patriots. <laughs> right. Well, have we I mean, ever how seen many that politicians done? can do that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Got to no, keep yeah, moving my fingers. Whenever I host a debate on, uh, you know, with the power panel every day on the Faulkner Focus, whenever we kind of go back and forth, what I hear is... I do have a stand, but I'm do also, don't forget, in a wheelchair. Better in terms of fighting the other side and the I'm left side paralyzed, so I only got one hand. And all of that. Look, I, I don't think our vice president can do that. If so, don't give her a So if you're That's thinking about it, isn't he hold it with the other hand? But, I can't. And, I mean, we can... I only got one hand to hold. But we don't have anybody in charge of the border right now. I mean, they're calling I mean, for the resignation of the of the DHS secretary. Well, thank you for While asking. This is going on. I mean, I asked you the question, what do our enemies think? I think our enemies look at this and say, oh, my gosh, they're open for business. Yeah. Who can we call in the United States and, and just do anything Pretty we big want job. to do with? Because this is what they do to a man who obviously had treated China very differently than the current president. Well, and this is the time you fly the Chinese balloon over the country, right? I mean, we've seen this movie play out. They already many. did it. Old material. That was last month. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get another one. All right. So as we watch this, we know that we are very, very close to the former president taking off for New York. We have watched during this hour, it's already been a very busy hour, um, a pretty good portion of the police Up oh, there they go, they're moving. And the mayor of New York City. They're taxiing the out the runway. Godspeed, Donald, please, God bless you. Personal Twitter page Come back safe. Work one, but on her personal page, she has that word out that... Us 74 million patriots love you and we'll be with you right by your side. tomorrow, Trump. That she, you know, that there's this rally that's going to take place in Lower Manhattan. You and I were pointing out everybody who's in a thread says peaceful protest, peaceful protest. People are really sensitive. They want to show their support to the president. And you saw the people lining up. I, I, I just wonder if, like Jerry said, they're not trying to gin up trouble by saying, "Oh, this is going to be terrible." I, I'm not. I got to switch hands again. No, uh, nor am I. I, I saw those same peaceful words.